Good morning. You are my refuge and my shield. I have put my hope in your word. Psalm 119. Let us pray. We give you praise and thanks for the hope that is ours in the resurrection of Christ. And remember this as we pray for your church. Thank you for the hard work and dedication of Christians throughout the world who continue to serve you faithfully in these difficult times. Lord, encourage those who pray, preach, teach, encourage, serve, give of their time and finances, and those who adapt their gifts and ministries in new and creative ways. We particularly pray for John, David, Jennifer, Julian, Patrick, Daniel and Michael. May your church be a light, vanquishing the darkness, and may many come to know you. Lord, in your mercy. We give you praise and thanks for your compassion and love as we pray for our world. Thank you for all those who have recovered from the coronavirus and for the scientists who are searching for a cure and we ask God that you would hasten this. We particularly pray for those in your world who live in poverty, in overcrowded and war-torn situations, who struggle to access health care. We ask you would give us courage to help them and you would protect them. Lord, in your mercy. Finally, we pray for those who are known to us and in any sort of need. And we remember Margaret Whip, Chris Bayliss, Keith, Gerald, Ron, Wendy, Sandra, Chris, Sarah, David, Damien, Hannah, Alan, Kay, Anne Adams, and the work of the Samaritans. Lord, touch their lives, be their refuge and their shield, their very present hope in times of trouble. Lord, in your mercy, The Lord's Prayer Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you.